Welcome to Medi Net Channel. I'm Dorder Online, and today we will explore important body signs and how to address them. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our informative health content. Let's embark on a journey into the world of health at Medi Net Channel. And today, let's dive into a crucial topic uncover the energy secrets, transform your fatigue with five powerful solutions. If you're feeling excessively sleepy lately, you're not alone. According to the Sleep Foundation, excessive daytime sleepiness is on the rise in the United States, with about 25% of people experiencing it in 2022 compared with about 13% a decade ago. Sound like you? Keep in mind that there's a difference between feeling the urge to nap in the after lunch hours and tiredness that's potentially problematic. The usual mid-afternoon fatigue that many of us experience as part of the normal circadian rhythm, says Peter G. Polos, MD, PhD, sleep medicine specialist with Sleep Number, who's based in Basking Ridge, New Jersey. But tiredness that hangs around most of the day or naps that aren't restorative indicate a potential problem that could impact your daytime functioning, Dr. Polo says. For instance, you may find yourself having trouble focusing or making decisions, feeling easily irritated, and experiencing slowed reaction times, according to the Sleep Foundation. Daytime sleepiness also dramatically decreases productivity and increases work-related and other accidents, such as car accidents after falling asleep behind the wheel, says Jacob Teitelbaum, MD, a board-certified internist and author of From Fatigue to Fantastic, who is based in Kona, Hawaii. Being perpetually tired can also impact your overall health by negatively affecting your immune system and increasing your risk of infectious disease, obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, according to Mayo Clinic. That's why it's so important to figure out what's causing your middle-of-the-day fatigue. Here are five potential reasons you're always tired. 1. Sleep deprivation. The most straightforward explanation for your daytime sleepiness, you're simply not getting enough sleep at night. Sleep deprivation is extremely common, affecting 50 to 70 million Americans at any given time, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Adults need seven or more hours of sleep each night, according to Mayo Clinic. If you're routinely clocking short of that, you're developing a sleep debt that you won't bounce back from easily. Many people think one night of makeup sleep on the weekend is sufficient to improve sleepiness, but it is not, says Kendra Becker, MD, a sleep medicine director and internist at Kaiser Permanente in Fontana, California. Imagine getting only five hours of sleep per night, but the person may need eight hours. That means they will lose three hours of sleep seven nights per week. This adds up to 21 hours of sleep debt that needs to be made up to feel good. One way to improve your sleep quantity and quality is by practicing good sleep hygiene. This includes developing and sticking with a bedtime routine, avoiding screens, meals, and alcohol close to bedtime, and staying active during the day, according to the Cleveland Clinic. 2. Sleep Disorder Say you're getting enough sleep and still not feeling rested. Dr. Teitelbaum says this likely indicates that your sleep quality is poor, and you should see a healthcare professional about screening for a sleep disorder. Common sleep disorders to look for include sleep apnea, narcolepsy, restless leg syndrome. All of these can be treated, so it's important to consult a doctor to receive care, Teitelbaum says. 3. Underlying health issue. There are also health issues not directly related to sleep that could be triggering your daytime sleepiness, Teitelbaum says. The list of potential culprits is long and, per Teitelbaum, includes Fibromyalgia Thyroid disease Chronic fatigue syndrome Kidney disease Anemia Lupus Parkinson's disease Multiple sclerosis Cancer Chronic pain Obesity Mental health issues including depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia to determine if an underlying health issue is to blame, your doctor will likely analyze your sleep habits, lifestyle, medication use, and overall health to make a diagnosis, Polo says. 
They may perform a physical exam or order blood work to check for obesity, cardiovascular disease, or metabolic and neurologic conditions that can contribute to sleepiness. 4. Nutritional deficiencies. Sometimes, what's missing from your diet can influence how energetic you feel. Your doctor may check for Magnesium deficiency symptoms of low magnesium, which is found in fibrous foods such as leafy vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, and whole grains, include fatigue and weakness, according to the National Institutes of Health. Iron deficiency this can trigger restless leg syndrome, according to Harvard Health. Teitelbaum says even if your blood test reads as normal, low iron could still be to blame for your tiredness. He suggests asking your doctor for a ferritin blood test, which measures stored iron. Making sure it is over 60 nanograms per milliliter, nanogram per milliliter, can ensure that low iron is not contributing to restless leg syndrome, he says. Vitamin D deficiency this can lead to daytime sleepiness or reduced energy, Dr. Becker says. According to previous research, a single 100,000 IU dose of vitamin D improved fatigue among those with vitamin D deficiency. B vitamin deficiency B12 deficiency, for example, can cause exhaustion or fatigue, even when your levels are on the low end of normal, according to an article published in March 2022 in Deutsches Arzteblatt International. Because animal products are a main source of B vitamins, vegans and vegetarians tend to be at greater risk. 5. Certain medications. Sometimes, the underlying cause of sleepiness is a medication you're taking to treat another health issue. In my practice, I notice medications are one of the most common factors in contributing to daytime sleepiness, Becker says. Sometimes it is the timing of medications, meaning that a medication may cause sleepiness if given in the morning or a medication that is alerting is given at bedtime. According to Polos, common medications to blame include antihistamines, some antidepressants, antipsychotics, some blood pressure medications, anti-anxiety drugs, pain medications. Don't stop or change your medication on your own, however. Sometimes the very same medication for depression reports both daytime sleepiness for some and insomnia for others, so there is a lot of variation, Becker says. Instead, bring your concerns up with your doctor. Your physician may want to substitute other medications or simply leave them off for a day or two to see if a medication is contributing to your problem, Teitelbaum says. When to see your doctor about sleepiness. It's time to seek professional help if tiredness is interfering with your daily life or you suspect there's an underlying health issue contributing, according to the Sleep Foundation. Polo says other red flags to bring up to a doctor include sleepiness that persists over the course of a few weeks, a sudden onset of sleepiness, or a decline in memory or concentration. Based on the patient's symptoms and medical history, the doctor can help determine if a referral to a sleep center and a sleep study is the next step, Becker says. Thanks for watching Mednet channel. If you found our insights unhelpful, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your support keeps us going. Share this video to help others, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.